We've been releasing our new dashboard builder and with it a couple of new functions. And there's also now global dashboards. There was global dashboards before, but with some really new cool features. One of this is global dashboards and making them public so that everybody can view and access them without um, the need to register or to, to sign up on Datacake and, or have a Datacake account. And I'm going to show you in this video how easy it is to create such a global public dashboard. So this here is a device I've got at my home. It's, um, it's um, a particulate monitor from MCF88. And this is the device dashboard. So to create a new global dashboard, you simply um, select Add Dashboard from the sidebar and you provide the title and you can choose if you want to have it public or not public. And the link will be shared or created after you press Add Dashboard. So this is how it looks for one of my dashboards I've created. You've got the option to um, set multiple and different widgets here. And in these widgets, you can select yeah, the um, device and the field that you want to display. And you can also um, change the appearance like icon, the gauge and the time frame. Time frame means things like um, averaging some maximum, minimum and so on. But more on that in a different video. And once you've created that, you get also the options um, to create multiple tabs in your workspace. So these multiple tabs are somehow like sub dashboards in your dashboard. And during editing, you can switch to these tabs and then have different things like in this case, the map, let's change it, um, the style a little bit more so that we have maybe like a satellite, no, let's leave like auto view. It um, adds some nice color in here. And yeah, in all the different tabs. So I've created one of these dashboards um, for my home. There are these different devices here, like the particulate monitor, some outdoor temperature. Actually, they're both always on point, so pretty good devices. The outdoor temperature monitor is in Dragino LHT65. But I also created some charts here. And um, yeah, I always combine different things that I have in my home here. Um, also, the irrigation control for soil moisturing. I'm using a Regino and Tineo sensor, and but also the light for controlling some basic things here. So I've created this dashboard, go into edit metadata, and here's now the link. And when I open up a new window, like a privacy window, where there's nothing stored like um, accounts and so on, I can open up this global public dashboard and I can see this here. And I can see everything here without the sidebar and the um, yeah and the tabs and so on. Um, the switches are also in the global dashboard, but they are not working because we don't want um, to be to have switches in the global dashboard, the public version, because then somebody who steals the link or has the link or finds the link could control things here. So this is not working. And for instance, if you have white label solution from Datacake. Um, and your domain will point to the data cake domain. So you use your own domain and you use your own logo. Um, this will show here your own logo on the public dashboard. Um, to show you this, let's switch into a different workspace here, which is um, some basic demo workspace from the Acme Corporation. And there is your logo listed. And here's um, a pretty basic dashboard. And when we copy the link here and enter this, into a web browser, it doesn't show the data cake logo, it shows the your logo. And on your white label, we will remove also the spanner here, and there are more features available. So this is basically how easy it is to create dashboards, make them public, share these links with everybody, and integrate all these different widgets on data cake. Thanks for watching and stay tuned.